Hey guys, welcome back. Today I've got a Denso filter to look at. This guy crosses over to most other filters I've looked at so far, including these guys here for comparison. Now I paid $7.91 for this guy, which is about middle of the road for this size. A Super Tech will cost you less than three bucks, whereas an Amsoil or Royal Purple will run you closer to 15. Now the case is uncommonly simple. It's just a black finish with white lettering that says the name, what it is, the model number and the install pictogram, which is actually pretty funny because they include a torque rating in parentheses here. Now I went through the entire graveyard of filter cases that I have and none of them has a torque rating on it. They all have just the number of turns. So if you wanna install this with a torque wrench, more power to you, but I just thought that was funny. The case feels, or the can feels pretty stiff, which tells me it's the wall thickness is probably 20 thousandths of an inch. I wish it was thicker, but the weight being 311 grams, which is pretty average for a good quality filter, tells me it's probably not any thicker than that. The heaviest I've seen is 350 grams on a Bosch Distance Plus that had a really beefy base plate, so I doubt this case is any thicker than 20, but we will see when I cut it up. The underside came with this um, covering over it, which kept the pre lubed seal actually pretty wet. If I pull this off here, you can still see some of the lubricant on the underside. And there was even more, but I've been messing around with it. So anyway, that was pretty cool to see that. Now I've said it before, but I really like this style of gasket because it's got the little lip on the inside, which engages this track on the base plate, which basically just ensures that it stays attached to the filter when you remove this guy later on instead of sticking to your engine, which can be a big problem. But um, anyway, lastly for the outside, the six inlet holes have a combined inlet area of about 0.256 square inches, and the center hole has four threads on it. On the inside, the media has a total area of about 76 square inches. Compared to other non-wire-backed filters, that's a little bit low. The Mobile One will give you in the mid-80s, and this Fram Extra Guard has a little bit over 102 square inches of total filter media. As far as filtration efficiency goes, Denso doesn't really publish that information on their website or on their packaging. So I contacted their support, but they haven't really gotten back to me. If they do, I'll update the notes below. The only scrap of information that I have, and it's a scrap, comes from the Amsoil box where they publish a 51% efficiency rating for a Toyota filter from 2011 at a 20 micron test. Now, I looked up this model number from Toyota, and if you look at the picture of that filter, you'll see it says Denso on it, but it also says made in Thailand, whereas this Denso filter was made in China. And if you Google around, you'll find forums where guys discuss potential quality discrepancies between Denso filters and their country of origin. So if you want to go down that rabbit hole, go ahead. <laughs> anyway, but even if this Amsoil number of 51% efficient is accurate for this Denso filter right here, it wouldn't really surprise me because that's a 20 micron test and fully synthetic media performs well at that for those tiny particle sizes. This is just probably a cellulose or synthetic blend or something and they don't usually do as well down at that level. So if you were to put the Denso filter through a 30 micron test, you'd probably get somewhere in the 90s because look at this Mobile One box, okay? They advertise a 99 plus percent efficiency rating, but they're doing a 30 micron test and they also have a you know media that's not fully synthetic. So anyway, I don't know what the efficiency of this is, but if it's good enough for Toyota and the build quality is clearly decent, then it's good enough for me. Anyway, just quickly, the emergency bypass valve here is pretty typical. It does have a metal on metal seal here. It doesn't use a rubber gasket like you'll see on some of the high end filters like the Amsoil here, but I can't get really excited about that. The case is the 20 thousandths thick steel that I was kind of expecting. And lastly, the center tube is the preferred spiral wound or helical style design. And it also happens to be the largest diameter that I've come across yet for these filters, for what that's worth. So anyway, that is Denso for you. If you want to see any other filters, please leave your requests in the comments along with any other questions. And thank you for watching.